Okay. Now I'm connected to so many wires right now. Um, by this point, you should have already rooted your phone. Um, you should, uh, which would have required Moto Chopper and the um, the LG driver. Uh, the rest now is going to be basically on your phone, um, and you're going to need the A parted tool and the uh, link to SD tool. So let's get started here. First and foremost, we're going to do the partitioning um, of your SD card. If you've already used your SD card before, uh, it's, um, it's likely you got stuff on it. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you back it up first because this process is going to wipe your SD card. Um, downloaded a parted. I'm actually redoing it because I messed something up and it set me ahead. Alright, so first time you open a parted, you're going to see remember choice. Uh, you're going to super user request, hit remember choice forever, hit allow. It's going to go through some steps, detecting devices. That's an important step. E. Okay, so if you use your SD card before, it should either have a single partition, maybe it's got multiple partitions. Um, as you can see right here, I've got I've got a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card. Um, right now it's partitioned into uh, two sections. That's almost exactly what it's going to be in the end result, but um, that we need to wipe. This is showing you what, what it is now. This is going to show what it will result in. Right now, we're going to wipe it so that it's just a clean single partition. So I'm going to go to this Tools tab. Um, by the way, you want to make sure that the size that's showing up it says 15,000 uh, 15, megabytes. That's about the size of my SD card. It's important that you know, you're getting close to the... Uh, correct thing. You're not wiping your uh, your phone's internal memory. So go to this tools tab, select these two, ooh, I guess I have to do it individually. Okay, you're going to delete. Do you want to delete this partition? Okay. Uh, did it do it? Is it doing it? Delete. Okay. Delete. Do you want to delete the partition? Okay. Deleting partition two. FS. Oh, okay. There we go. So now, um, when it's deleted, you're going to see all four. Part one, part two, part three, part four. I should say FS. FD. If you've got other partitions, you want to delete those too. So you'll delete, you know, whatever's there too. Error partition. Obviously, because on mine it doesn't exist. So once you've got all four that are empty, you're going to go to create. And you're going to go to this plus here. And what you want to do is you want to figure out how, about how many gigabytes of, um, of space you're going to want available in order to store your apps. Um, this is going to be a separate space uh, from your regular storage. So I'm going to, for my card, I've got 16 gigabytes. I want about 4 gigabytes to store apps uh, and then the rest, which would be the remaining, it's actually closer to 14 gigs, so it would be about 10 gigs stored for pictures and music and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is that initial 10 gigs, and it's important that the first partition is the partition uh, that is the FAT32 partition and is your, you know, your storage partition. So I'm going to boost that up to about 10 Oh, maybe 11, right around that range. 10,700, that feels swell. So I hit create, I hit that plus symbol, slid the partition over to um, the size of the first FAT32 partition. And then I'm going to hit the create button again. And it's going to give me part two. I'm going to change this part two to the 
ext4 type, and I'm going to slide that all the way over. And now I'm going to have the FAT32 partition and the ext4 partition. And now I'm going to hit the menu button and apply changes. Uh, this is the part that's going to wipe your SD card, so if you've got anything stored on there, hit cancel and back it up. <laughs> um, but you want to hit OK. Making partition 1, making partition 2. So 4300. Yeah, um, actually, it's flash memory, so I think 1000 megabytes is a gigabyte. I get confused with these things. Anyway, it's about f it's about four gigabytes. And that's going to be where my apps are going to move to using the links to SD uh, software. So now we're waiting. Super user granted tape. Yeah, that keeps popping up. That's a little annoying. You can actually shut that off uh, soon. Well, it doesn't really matter. If you ever need to use uh, super user to. Man, this thing needs to hurry up. I ain't got time like this. My cat is bugging out right now. Done yet? No. Indy. Indy. What you doing, dude? Indy. You look extra evil right now. Okay, it's done. So now that new those new partitions are made, um, uh, you're done with a parted. If you want, you can remove the app. Uh, you don't really need it on your phone anymore. Uh, your SD card is officially partitioned and prepared for the next part. Over and out. Okay, we are at the last step. This is the easiest part. So it's going to go very quickly. Alright, so by now you've rooted your phone, you've partitioned your SD card, and now you get to the part where you get to start moving apps to your SD card. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the link to SD app. Alright, this is one that I mentioned downloading before. You're going to go uh, it's gonna. The first thing it's gonna ask you is select the file system of your SD card's second partition. You remember you made that EXT4 partition? That's the second partition. We're gonna select that. Hit OK. All right. Link to us. All right. So we got a super user request again, and you're gonna go ahead. Remember this choice forever. Allow. Great. Okay. So mount script created. Please restart your device to mount the second partition to your CD. If you're getting this message after, okay. So let's, okay. Um, I'm gonna reboot the device, but first, first, I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, I'm gonna go to link to SD. I'm gonna shut the notifications off. All right. Do the same for a parted. Notifications, turn them off. Because every time the super user grants them access, I don't want to be reminded. It's just, it's an annoying little notification that pops up, and I just don't want it there. Alright, so now I'm going to turn my phone off. Power off and restart. Phone will restart. Okay. And let's wait for that to restart. In the meantime, uh, let's do nothing. We, we've got to wait. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. What does the fox say? This has got to hurry up. I need to get ready for work.
What does the fox say? Okay, here we go. I'm preparing an SD card. Little, little icon. Go away. Go away. There we go. Alright, let's go back to LinkedIn. Like, oh, come on, the scan the media files. Look at all these notifications. Okay, go back to link to SD. Ah, what's new? Okay. Alright, so this is how you send things to your SD card. Let me find an app that applies that I want to get rid of. Or it sends an SD card. Uh, face unlock. Oh, this crap on my phone. Hmm. Gmail. Yeah, why not? See that move to SD? Don't hit that. That's not what we're using. It's gonna pop up. Oh, it's not supported by your device. That's not what we're using. We're using the create link. Uh, it says no library files, so I can't click it. Um, if it's clickable, click it. All right, and then we're going to hit OK, creating link, and it is now on the S, quote unquote, on the SD card. All right, cool play music. Sure, let's let's create a link for that. Oh, not clickable again. Creating link, application files and links. Move to the SD card. Anything else? Junk, junk home theme. Sure. You know, I some of them are not going to be. Some of them. Uh, It'll tell you this sh should be n not on an external. Leave it alone. Maps. Here's a perfect example. Huge. Takes up lots of space. And can go on my SD card. I'm hit OK. Application files link to move to SD card. And what you're going to do is, you know, just link as many as you can. Just link all of them. Um, and then if you go to settings, um, system settings, of course, um, we're going to go to storage. All right, we're going to take a look. And what's going to happen is that's going to start freeing up that space there. And this, see that available? And I put, that's the 10 gigs that I set aside for music and pictures and all that. That's not going to fill up as we move things to the SD card because the second partition is actually hidden and not viewable, but that's where your apps are going when you say link to SD card. So you've got now space for your pictures, and when you link to your, you know, your computer, this is the space that you're going to see, that it's going to connect to this 10 gigs, but the extra 4 gigs, um, that's where the SD uh, that's where the apps are going to be hiding via this links to SD, right? A parted, you can get rid of that. Super user, you don't need the icon on your desktop. But links to SD, that's, you know, this is links to SD. This is how this works. And I don't think there's anything else I can tell you. Some of this stuff is annoying. Actions. Install. Eh, system app? Yeah, I don't want to uninstall that. Yeah, okay, that's all I have for you guys. Goodbye.